Oh, yeah, okay, go ahead. Why do hey. I need to know? Why do you need to know if my house clean and clear? You know, great question, sir. And you know what? If I was in your position, I'd probably say the same thing. I want to make you an offer. I want to give you, you wouldn't want to get full price today, would you? Yes, I would like to have. I, I can give you, you know, I look for either price or terms, sir. I can give you a contract today if you can show flexibility in the terms. In other words, would you be willing to hold your mortgage, get some interest, get some nice cash flow, maybe forego the heavy tax penalty? I'm not an accountant. But I'm asking that reason because I want to know what kind of offer to make you. So suppose I gave you a full price offer. Would you be willing to hold your mortgage for a few years? We could do a contract today. No, no, I want all cash. I want you want all cash? cash? Okay. So yeah. I, when I look for cash, I look for, I look for price or terms, sir. What would be the best price you can give me? Or do you want full price and cash for your property that's been on the market for over six months? Nah, I'm I'm still in my property right. I'm still in my property right now, so I'm not even ready to leave right now. But okay, so in terms, you really don't have on a one through ten. Your ten meaning urgent. Your level of motivation right now is a two or a three, isn't it? At the moment, yes, because I'm. Okay, it sounds like it's over then. No, no, I want to. Um, I'm building another house, so I need to stay in the house for a couple more months. When you say I, a couple more months, do you mean August, September, October? Could you October. be specific, please? October, October. October. So say I sent you a contract today for your property. Uh, would you be able, uh, we could do a contract today, but I would need at least an 18% discount and you could be free and you wouldn't have to worry about selling this property anymore. Could we do a contract today subject to October? Okay, I can um I can think about that because I have you're not, to, you're not allowed to think about it, sir. You can just fire me and I'll leave you alone. Uh, what do you mean? What do you mean? I, I want to get my price. Can't, my can't give you your price, sir. Then I can't make money and my investors can't make money. Why do I think it's a uh, is it isn't this over? Aren't we done? I wish you well, sir. I hope your new house is built very nice. I hope you find somebody to give you a full price. But you know, this market right now, it, with the pandemic, uh, it's very scary right now with the economy. We got a presidential election. Who knows what's going to happen? Uh, people are, you know, th it's a crazy time right now. Aren't you worried? You remember 2008, sir? I do. I do remember 2008. Do you want to chase the market down or would you like to get a sure thing today before I go? Um, you can send the offers and I can just look at it over. And what it, well, it's going to take me an hour or two to put that offer together. Um, what's going to happen when I give you, you want 250 and I'm going to offer you 195. What's going to happen when you get that offer and we speak at 430 today? I'm going to look over it and I'll have my options because I have other offers. Oh, I, why don't you take them? I want to see what the best highest offer that I can have. Mine isn't the best. It's not going to be the best. It's the one that's, you know, why didn't you take those other, see, off the role play. This is a good one. <laughs> a good one. What am I exhibiting in the, what am, am I begging? Do you see a guy with a little tin cup here begging or help me sign? Okay. What am I doing here? What am I exerting? What kind of psychological triggers did I utilize? The good role. The reluctant buyer. Say again? The reluctant buyer. I'm a reluctant buyer. Why? What do we call that when I'm reluctant? There's, that's a good word. It's takeaway. Takeaway. Okay. What's the other word that we use in the, uh, by the way, in the mind map that I have? Scarcity. 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 And all those words are good, Mark. You know, if I sound like I'm desperate or begging, this guy's just going to reject. Am I letting this guy manipulate me or am I being as, am I shocking this guy with my directness? A little bit. Am I being as on? You know what's the most beautiful thing about guts? It's so damn honest. I mean, did I get right to the point with this guy? Well, why do you need to know that? Because I need to know what kind of offer to structure, sir, price or terms. Well, I want full price. I can't give you full price unless you give me terms. Well, I need all cash. And we go around and around. And am I going to do a deal with this guy in all likelihood? Probably not. Not today. Not today. Not today. He wants a contract. Why does he... What? You know, how many of these guys say well, they want a contract, we spend an hour, two hours putting it together, we send it to them, then what happens in re reality here? What really happens? Don't know. They disappear, right? Yeah. Okay. And then Philip did a little uh, a prospect bullshit there. What was it? Did you hear it? I've got other offers. I got all of our offers. Is that the biggest? Is that, well, why don't you take them? You know, call his bluff when he pull, when he put when he cuts stuff like that. Dave, you're laughing. Dave Stott, you're laughing too hard on that. Why? 
I want the highest offer. I want the highest offer. You want the highest offer, but it, you know what? Did I try to put a little fear in there? Was I being a little creative with the fear? Yeah, the, Did you hear it? Hey, yeah, you remember yeah. 2008? Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, you're making a big, you're making, sir, you know, the only thing I didn't do is saying, sir, you're making a tragic mistake here. You're going to chase the market down. Who knows what's going to happen in October? Okay, this marketplace is very nervous right now. Yeah, I was wondering how you would take something like that on. That was a big question, the, the market and, and uh, how to respond, bringing that up to a full price request. I'll give them full price if I get the terms because Dave, then I can sell, assign, arbitrage the contract to another person because another person can get in. Do you remember before 2008, why did we have that crash, that banking crash? Because the government underwrote all these bad loans, billions, trillions of dollars of bad loans with people with really low FICA scores and everything. A lot of garbage loans, okay? So if I have a loan, if I have a sale of a house here where I have the where I have owner financing built in, the owner has become the bank. Do I have something marketable here? Yeah. If I go to a prospect who, and they can, they can put a decent down payment and I can confirm employment, I don't want to set up the seller uh, for a big failure or a problem or going into court. But if I get somebody who's qualified with enough cash and I can confirm employment so they can make the payments, can I, is that piece of paper that I negotiated with owner financing, is that something, whether a rent to own or the owner carries the mortgage, either way, is that a, is that a marketable commodity? Yeah. Is that something I can, I so. is that something of value where you can go to people or another investor and say, hey, no bank boys and girls, I got it, it's all set up right now. How would you like to have that home? It's Easy just a call. thousand dollar bill. All you need is the money. All, all I need is money, right? Yeah. Money's my big qualifier. Am I gonna make some money up front selling that contract or am I get some money and a note and some kind of payments for a couple of years? Either way, and then I'm out of the deal. I have no further liability and I just made cash up front. Is that, that's what you can do when you negotiate